In the previous video, we showed how to read structures containing ligands when the methods available in PDB Reader are able to guess the correct structure. In this video, we'll show what to do when we want to read a modified ligand structure. Specifically, we'll show how to read PDB ID 186L when we want to add a functional group to its N4B ligand. To begin, go to the front page of Ligand Reader and Modeler and load the PDB ID 186L. When it finishes processing, select N4B for modification. For our modification, we will simply add an amino group in the para position. Once you've modified the ligand, click Next. There is no exact match for this ligand in the charm force field, so click Next again to generate it with CGenFF. When it finishes, download the structure and extract its contents. There are a lot of files in this archive, but the ones we care about the most for this video are 186L modified.pdb and the topology and parameter files in the LIG directory. The modified PDB file contains the original PDB structure, but with the N4B molecule swapped out for our custom ligand molecule. If we want to place this modified structure in a solvated box for simulation, then we should go to the front page of Solution Builder and select it for uploading. Note that PDB files produced by Charm are generally in Charm PDB format, not the official PDB format, so make sure to select Charm as a PDB format before clicking Next. Select All Chains for Modeling and click Next. Notice that this time the chloride ion shows up in the PDB manipulation options. Chloride ion exists in the Charm force field and its name is the same as the one in our PDB. We can confirm this by clicking CSML search. CLA shows up in the list of ions we can choose, and its description says chloride ion. If we want to swap this ion for a different one, this is where we would do it, but for now, we'll simply choose CLA and click apply. This will cause the manipulation option for CLA to read, rename to CLA. It may seem strange that we are renaming CLA to CLA, but the actual meaning of this option is that we are using the topology and parameters for CLA that exists in the Charm Force field under the name CLA. In the previous video, we saw that HED is absent from the Charm Force field, and we chose to generate its topology and parameters using CGenFF and the SDF file from RCSB. We'll do the same in this video, so ensure this option is selected. For our custom ligand, we already generated charm topology and parameters for it, so we'll choose the option to upload those files. In the extracted charm GUI project directory, find these files in the LIG directory. Select one of the topology files for the topology option, and the parameter file for the parameter option. There are no other modifications we need to make, so click Next to generate the full PDB. From here, the remaining steps are the same as for any other Solution Builder project.